I was born in a Muslim family and um, I think it was at the age of 16 that um, somebody gave me a tape. It was uh, the tape, The Late Great Planet Earth, and it was about the end time prophecy. So that got me very curious about, you know, finding the truth and searching for the truth. And uh, naturally, being a Muslim, I um, started um, looking into Islam and I asked my parents to send me uh, literature uh, about Islam. And uh, I got the books, I started praying, fasting. Uh, I even covered my head for, a, <clears throat> for some time. And, uh, um, but you know, the more I uh, searched, the, my outward appearance had changed, but my inner desires hadn't changed. And I was becoming like a person with a double personality. Uh, and I just didn't like myself and I didn't find the answers that I was looking for and I thought I'm not really communicating with God I'm just repeating mindless words and uh, I just uh, sort of gave up on religion because I didn't want to be a hypocrite and I um, um, just uh, decided that I don't want to pursue this any longer. A friend invited me to the church one day and I was really searching for the truth and I wanted to find you know something in life and I accepted and I remember when I walked into that church I saw people uh, with closed eyes just worshiping the Lord and they were so genuine and it really touched me and I remember the sermon it was like uh, he was talking to me and I remember exactly what he was saying. He was saying one part of it which really, really touched me was that he was uh, describing us as um, faces, gold faces, a jewel that has been covered with mud because of our experiences in life, because of all the sadness, all the hatred, all the everything that's been going on in our lives and but God wants to take all that dirt away and and bring out the jewel in us and I thought wow I have a jewel inside and it's hidden and I wanted to find that and so uh, later on I met some uh, other Christians and I just loved being around the Christians because there was um, something about them they had so much love and they were humble and um, I just uh, wanted to, uh, there was a longing in my heart to find out what these Christians believed. I started attending uh, Bible studies and uh, I was, you know, diligently reading the Bible. I wanted to, I was thirsty, I wanted to find out, you know, what is, uh, you know, who is Christ and what these Christians talk, are talking about. and. Um, so I, uh, after attending Bible study for a while, I realized who Jesus was. And this was all so new to me. I had no idea. You know, when I was a Muslim, I had heard about Jesus. I knew he was a prophet, but I never knew who he really was. And I never knew the love that he had for us. And uh, didn't know that he was God in flesh. And when I found that out, and when I found out what he had gone through on the cross, for us, for me, I just wanted to, you know, as Muslim, when we pray, we get on the floor, on our knees, and just on the ground, with my forehead on the ground. I just wanted to get on my forehead on the ground and worship him. And that's when I accepted him as my Lord. After I accepted Christ, um, it was like my eyes had just opened. It was like I was looking at the world with a different set of glasses. I was seeing things clearly. Um, the emptiness that I had always felt, it was just lifted off of me. Um, I had such joy and peace that I had never experienced before. My husband was very curious about this change in me 
and uh, actually he was uh, he liked it but at the same time because I was really um, going to Bible study and, and studying the Bible he couldn't understand it and I remember one time uh, when I came back from the Bible study he um, was upset and he just tore up my Bible into pieces and stormed out of the house but uh, three weeks later maybe two weeks later uh, he, one night he had a dream um, three times in a row one night he had a dream that he was lost in the mountains mountains that he had been there before and Christ came to him and said if you want to help your people follow me and he woke up and went back to sleep again and he had the same dream three times and the next morning he told me that uh, he wants to accept Christ and he became a Christian so that Sunday we were in church and he gave his testimony one day as I was driving to work I was in my neighborhood and a speeding car hit me and immediately I realized I couldn't move and I knew I was paralyzed and I don't remember much after that uh, but I do remember um, they took me to the hospital and uh, as they were wheeling me into um, the hospital room I was just yelling I'm broken I'm broken and I remember a nurse whispering in my ears yeah but your spirit is not broken and that just um, really encouraged me that well, God knows what's happening to me it's not a surprise to me and I thought I'm gonna be well and I'm gonna go home soon but it did happen that way I was in the hospital for four months several several like six or seven surgeries in less than three months and uh, there was a lot of complications and I had infections and doctors didn't think I would survive it I was really going down and had a lot of questions where is God you know those questions that make you have a deeper understanding and so there was only silence and uh, I remember one day I woke up and across from my bed there was a, a crumbled piece of paper white piece of paper and I looked at it and it, it was like an origami it was like a statue it became so uh, clear it was a statue of Jesus holding me in his arms holding the girl who was paralyzed in his arms and at that moment I realized that God had indeed been carrying me through this journey and I remembered Psalm 23 the Lord is my shepherd even though I go through the valley of the shadow of death I shall not fear because thou art with me and uh, my husband walked into the room and I showed him that piece of paper and he saw the image clearly the same image so I knew that God was speaking to us giving me hope when we came home we had to go through uh, you know a lot of difficult times of adjusting and uh, there was a time that uh, my husband had to take care of me all by himself and uh, he needed to provide for us emotionally but at the same time he needed to be able to take care of me at home and so miraculously um, God provided him with the job of translating the Bible and so he could stay home and take care of me but also he could provide for us so it's interesting how the person who tore up the Bible a few years ago is now translating the same book you know I was very bored being at home all the time and um, my husband just encouraged me to paint and I thought you know I can't even feed myself I cannot paint and I you know I can't use my art and my uh, hands but he went and bought all the stuff for me and one day I remember um, it was during the fall it was a, about a year after my accident and I was just so inspired looking at all the different colors and I said you know I'm gonna I'm gonna paint so um, I started I have a brace that I put on my left arm because I'm right-handed but my right arm is really weak 
so I have to use my left arm for everything. And with the help of that brace to be able to hold the brush, I just started painting. And, uh, you know, I always wanted to paint that image that God gave me in the hospital. And, uh, you know, after painting for a while, some scenery, and, you know, I worked my way up to, you know, painting what I saw in the hospital. You know, I, I didn't, uh, I had never painted before, before the accident. So I never knew that that gift was inside of me, or maybe God placed it in me after the accident. I don't know, but I don't think I would have ever found out without the accident about that gift. I, I want to share with other Muslims that there is a hope and a future no matter what your circumstances. If you only come to Christ and know who He is and learn what He has to offer you, the love, the unconditional love that He can give you, the hope and the future. And I want those people who are in prison, in prison of their mind, their heart, to open their hearts and uh, know the truth. And this is my motivation for um, wanting to share the gospel with the Muslims uh, because I've been there and uh, I know what they're going through. And I know they're searching for the truth. They want to know who God is, who the true God is, who is the, um, what the truth is. And um, I want to share what I have, you know, what God has given me the hope that He's giving me. I want them to have the joy and to know that this joy can be theirs. God wants them to have this joy. God loves them. Me and my husband pray for Muslims. We have a list of the people that we know and also for all the Muslims in, their, um, in, in all the nations to um, open their hearts and come and taste it and know that God is good.